Namaste, my dear friends. We are exploring the topic of mantra in yoga practice and today is the fifth video in this series and we are going to discuss today further spiritual dimensions of mantra practice. One of the key beliefs that we have in the Vedic tradition is the one who chants is divine. So when we are chanting the mantras, we believe that we become the divine itself. And this is because the mantras are usually mantras that are dedicated to the divine. And as I have explained in some of the earlier videos, we become what we meditate on. So here what it means is that when we meditate on the divine using mantra japa with the bhavana of the divine, we will receive auspicious attributes of the divine. And we will become more and more radiant, more and more clear in our mind, in our hearts, and we will embody all the divine attributes such as love, such as compassion, such as appreciation, such as neutrality. All those things will become part of us because that is what the mantra will do. It will transform us. And we have a very, very strong feeling about this that only a clean container is fit to recite mantra practice. That is why I keep insisting on this idea of getting initiated into the rituals that allow us to become fit for mantra because those rituals themselves are a way of cleansing us at a body level, at an emotional level and at, as well as a spiritual level so that we become much more refined to be able to recite mantra and therefore we become more and more closer to divine attributes. It certainly does not mean that we become God and we take the role of God. But what it means is we embody God's attributes and qualities and we use that as guiding principles of our daily life. Practices like Satyam, Ahimsa, all those will come much more naturally when we practice mantra because that is what will happen there will be a huge transformation process that will happen. And that is why the very belief that the one who recites is divine itself is a very, very important idea and belief in the Vedic tradition. Another important spiritual dimension of mantra sadhana is that it cleanses our karma both positive as well as negative. And this is very, very important because in the Vedic tradition, we believe that as long as we are bound by karma, we are not liberated. Now that karma can be good or bad. I have a clean t-shirt. If I pour honey on it, or if I pour some dirt on it, it's still the same, it gets dirty. So the same way, if we are bound by good karma or bad karma, the concept is we are still bound by karma. So there is a spiritual belief in our tradition that when we practice mantra, we get liberated from that karma because mantras are the greatest cleanser which penetrates very deep into our structures and removes all that binds us. And this is especially true in the Kali Yuga, the dark era that we are living in now, where the main means of liberation is presented as mantra sadhana. So this is yet another spiritual dimension of mantra practice that it is mantra that liberates us and that is what is presented even in many other philosophies including Vedanta where even the last sutra is saying anavrittihi shabdat anavrittihi shabdat there are many dimensions of meaning to that 
but one meaning is that we are liberated by mantra sadhana so this is yet another spiritual dimension of mantra practice and this is yet another reason why we must all become motivated for mantra practice therefore my dear friends i ask you to seek a traditional acharya one who belongs to a long lineage of mathas and seek initiation into proper mantra practice you will enjoy lots of unexpected benefits namaste my dear friends Namaste friends I am Kaustubha Desikachar of the Vini Yoga tradition and I'm very very glad that you have come this far in the video if you have come this far it means you really like and appreciate our videos and let us know how you feel about it through comments below let us also know that you appreciate it by giving us a thumbs up and also clicking the notification icon so that we will be inspired to produce more free and valuable content like this and we let the community grow so please 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 subscribe to us so that the algorithms pick our videos in a much better manner and thank you for sharing these videos through your social network so that it reaches as many people as possible this is the best way we can do to share nice content with our close friends and our students and other people who we care about and be safe and be happy and be healthy as we are going through very difficult times but let us remain connected to our heart with hope and shraddha Namaste. Namaste, my dear friends. We are exploring the topic of mantra in yoga practice and today we are in the fourth video where we are going to further explore the benefits of mantra practice. Mantra sadhana is always done with something called bhavana. Tad japaha tad artha bhavanam as Maharishi Patanjali presents. So what, what it means is that we have to embody the feeling of the mantra or the deity of the mantra that we are reciting in the japa. So when we do that, the mantra sadhana becomes a meditative practice and what will happen is we become what we meditate on. Now it does not mean that if we meditate on the sun using the sun mantra we will become the sun. It's not to be taken literally my dear friends. What it means is that we will attain the qualities of what we are meditating upon. Everything is defined by qualities when you look at sun the qualities we can attribute are things like radiance, warmth, life, illumination, etc. So when we recite the Sun Mantra with that Bhavana, that's what we will embody and that's what we will become. So this is why we need to practice Mantra so that we embody the auspicious attributes of the deity of the mantra and this is why my dear friends in the ancient time the acharya would initiate us into appropriate mantras that is suitable for us and this is something that we are doing even now today so that the auspicious attributes that we need that we are lacking or that we need we will embody through that mantra sadhana and therefore we become more auspicious so the defective attributes will become weaker whereas the positive auspicious attributes 
become stronger. And this is very, very important, my dear friends, because we need to live a life that is more auspicious and more pure. And that is why mantra practice is very, very essential. Another benefit of mantra practice is what I would call a connection. It's through mantra that we are developing a deep connection to the deity. We become closer in relationship to the deity of the mantra practice by repeating the mantra each day. So we 